Hey man, so you've played around with the road delay tool and the rank tool and you're like Huh? Well, what's all this crap do? Looks the same. Looks the same to me. Yeah, let's delete it. Let me tell you, it's not the same. And I want to explain to you why. Very simple and in detail. So with that said, Let's dive right into it. Hey! That is how it's supposed to sound. So the Eero Delay tool, as the name implies, is obviously a tool that allows you to contract or expand your pixels. Now, like most tools in Fusion, they can be used for technical processes, which they were most likely made for, but they can also be used for creative purposes. Now, when I say technical processes, I mean something like fixing problems with the edges, for example, with a green screen key that is not perfect. A creative process would be something like animating masks for motion graphics, for example. But let's talk about the rank tool. The rank tool as well is a simple tool. In a manual, it is explained like this. The rank filter is a very simple tool. This filter examines nearby pixels, sorts the pixels by value, and then replaces the color of all the pixels examined by the color of the pixel with a specified rank. Okay, now so for people who are not so profound with uh, English, with the English language, this might be already confusing. First of all, because the word pixel is like used four times. Okay, but let's move on for now. For example, a rank filter with a size of one will sample nine adjacent pixels of their values. The following shows some example values sorted by value. Now you get this uh, list here, and uh, you don't know what to do with this, of course. And then it goes on with uh, a blur filter with the same size would average these values together to produce a value of 3.9. A rank filter lets you choose a value from the list to select. For example, a rank of four would select the fourth item in the list producing a value of 0.5. Okay, now this is already a little bit difficult to understand and this uh, mentioning this blue blur filter here will just give you the last uh, punch and you're completely lost. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's simplify this a little bit. Okay, first let's take a look at the ranks tool UI. You see that we have two controls, the size and the rank. And uh, I would suggest that we rename those uh, controls for now and we're gonna rename them to um, the size to pixel distance and the rank to pixel number. Okay, now let's get closer. Uh, closer, man. Let's pick a pixel from our image. Any pixel is fine. Now let's refer to the pixel we have chosen as the center pixel. Now if we take a look at the pixel distance, it says one. What that means is that the rank tool is sampling one pixel in all directions from the center pixel. So we get a total of nine pixels with the center pixel being included. Now all those nine pixels have values. Now for now we care only about the red channel for example, although these values are totally made up. Now imagine we line up those values into a list, starting at the lowest and ending at the highest value. Now every value in that list gets a number, call it an ID or a rank. Again, starting at the lowest value. So this is where the rank is how it looks number value without. Into play. So you can see this clearly looks like just uh, like you just slapped an image into a displace modifier and used it as it was. But using the erode, you can see you get a nice bevel edge here. Again, off and on. And then we added lights and rendered this thing out and it still looks crappy, but adding ambient occlusion and a few color corrections will actually do magic. That looks pretty damn cool. If you're hot now and you want to have this project file, support me on Patreon to get the project file. Ugh. Okay, now let's jump to the rank filter. So the rank filter, I myself don't really use it a lot, honestly, but um, to give you an example of what you can do with it, for example, here I have this spline and I use a noise to rank this thing up, something like this. And then I wrote it one more time and yeah, I end up with something like this. I mean, it's really something cheesy here, uh, but I want to show you the difference or actually the similarity to the um, Erode dilate because see this is the, the rank filter and this is the erode dilate and that is why many people think that these are basically the same tools but they're actually not and and i want to give you a very interesting example here with the screwdriver hey suppose we have these two screwdriver here the slot head and the phillips head is it called in uh, the us you know that you can use the slot head screwdriver to actually screw the Phillips head, but you cannot do the opposite. You cannot use this screwdriver with 
these screws. And this is sort of what happens with the erode and dilate. And what I like a lot is this sentence here. While one of the most commonly found tools, the flat head screwdriver is also one of the most abused, often substituted for any number of other tools that might not be available. <laughs> While it's not always a great idea to use your flathead screwdriver as a tool for jobs other than tightening screws, sometimes it's just that. The fact is that the flathead screwdriver is quite useful for more than tightening screws. The difference between the erode and the rank filter. My name is Vito, I'll see you soon. Until then, enjoy what you're doing. Hey.